Hello everybody, my name is Dominique Barry. Welcome back to Wise Art Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Always, Sometimes, Monsters. Now, let's sleep, because I'm assuming that's what we're doing later that day. Night five. Naps are refreshing. I probably shouldn't piss away my days like that. Well, I thought it was night time. Fine. I'll go to sleep because I don't know what's going on. I'll just wait till the next morning. Okay, it's morning now. Can I have a beep or something? Beep, beep, beep! Message from the witch. Meet me at the hospital lobby now. Gotcha. See, there we go. Now I'm getting somewhere. Hopefully it actually worked. Now, hopefully, also, this episode won't start off as much as the last one did. Oh, what's going on over here? Are they tearing it down? So, the doc says my baby's gonna make a full recovery. Yay! Guess I owe you one. I guess I owe you a thank you. Yeah, you do. For making us all go through that. Look, I'm sorry this turned into such a mess. I wanted to give you this as a thank you. You see Viper's necklace. Neither of us wanted to end up here. I know it. So why do you keep doing it then? How long until it's the last time? I don't know, okay? It's easy for you to sit there and judge me and my baby, but don't... But you don't know what you're talking about. It's not like turning down a piece of chocolate cake when you're on a diet. It's just part of who we are now. We made our choice a long, long time ago. That's not good enough, Viper. I have to move on with my life now, and I can't be worried that you're gonna pull him under again. You need to dump him, go to rehab, make me a promise, or... Wow. I'm torn between go to rehab and make me a promise. Rehab. You need to get checked into rehab, Viper. We got lucky this time, but who knows how long how it'll go on the next one. You both need help. A lot of it. I beg you, get in a program and get clean. For both of your sakes. Rehab? What? Do you think we're made out of money? It'll be worth it if, he, if it gets cl you clean, won't it? We couldn't even afford our bill here. How the hell are we gonna afford rehab? Even if, even if we check into the cheapest place possible, it's gonna cost at least 300 to get registered. Well... I have 500. Promise you'll use it to get in a program. I thank you. If you use even a penny of this cash on more drugs, we're done. Forever. More importantly, you'll be done. This is your last chance, Viper. Take it. I'm serious. Why not let why not let this be the wake-up call you've been begging for? It's over. You survived. Make it count. For his sake, make it count. I understand. I don't want to promise you anything, though. Then don't. Just promise yourself. You, nev you never gave a shit at what I th thought anyway. Huh. I guess you're right. Thank you. He's upstairs in the room if you want to check in on him. Hello. Should we poke him? No, he's not conscious. Gotcha. Fair enough. Okay, so it's uh, afternoon time. Beep beep. Message from Jack. Ready to leave town, meet at apartment. But don't I want to go see... Nina at her wedding? If I leave town, will I still be able to do that? When I get into the apartment, I'm going to save my game. So that, that way, if it fucks up something... Oh, I don't even have to get into it. Uh, hold on then. Save. Save over game two. Save. There. Hello, Jack. Check this car. 
Check out this car I borrowed from my doctor friend. He's kind of a big deal. I'll be heading to the Beaton later tonight. Meet me back here if you want to hitch a ride. You said you were ready! I'm ready! To beat Tong later tonight. Meet me back here if you want to hitch a ride. Uh, okay. Where'd this guy go? Where'd these guys go? I don't even know where they went. Can I make another phone call or something? Larry's number, advance check, Durkhoff's number, bank card. Larry's number. This is not gonna pick up. Huh, he's not answering. I wonder what happens if I call Derek off. He ain't gonna pick up, is he? <laughs> no answer. Yeah, I didn't think there would be. Can we beat up the old man? Nobody's answering. Fine, whatever. I... Sure, why not? Oh! Nice! You have fun with that. Oh, don't do question mark. You know what that was. Sure. Again! Man must the old man must have just been here to change the lock. I guess that explains the empty box in the bucket labeled Randy's quick electro lock change kit. I'll take the lock off and get a screwdriver and take the lock off. And then you can get back into your apartment. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm lost. Hey, those are the people who made the game. Vega dog. Vegabond dog. Yeah. Hey there, name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I just kind of walked in. I've been looking for guys that run this place. I heard they got a neat little game idea that he's been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering into any building I can. They're probably down at the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's that game developers love coffee. I don't like coffee. I hope to be a game developer. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? Hmm. Me! What the fuck is- are you carrying a gun cat? A robocat from Vagabond Dog hit arcade game. Cold Line Toronto. But yeah, those are the people who made- that's the people who made this game. Mega play video game. Uh, maybe later. Crime Fighters, maybe later. Maybe later. Looks like Crappy Dog has been permanently disabled. <laughs> That's cool. Can I talk to the developers if I go down to the coffee shop? That would be funny. We need to get us some food stuff anyway, so... Bacon Barn. Where's the coffee shop? Is that Cookies Co? Because I would... Oh, there's a coffee shop! Krusty Cream Coffee Shop. Hello. Dude, did you see that crazy guy packing outside? He's here like every day. We should put him in the game. Invest in a sandwich. Dude, we're here every day. We should put ourselves in the game. Whoa, head up. You guys are serious? That's like... Dude, we just can't... We can't just have a tutorial that explains how to play the game. That's not how life works. They won't get the matches if we spoon feed them. Alright, if you say so. 
All I'm saying is that it might be a little more, you know, fun if people actually know what they're doing. We can get it across in metaphors, man. Metaphors! Nice. Hey there, we just put a fresh pot on. Can I get you coffee or something else? Remember, every cup's got a chance to win a prize. What's the prize? Another cup of coffee. Of course. Well, something else. Sandwich! That's enough. <laughs> uh, items. Wow, those sandwiches aren't that good. For me. Let's go into the cookie company. Because I literally don't know what else we're doing. This is creepy. You found Indie Hero's figure. Get lost! Okay. Sorry. Scaring the shit out of me. I can go I can go into the arcade after I'm done in Dex Pond Plus because I haven't been in the arcade yet. Um sell I can sell this. No! It's only worth two. There we go. Well, it's something. Maybe I can win in a scratch card. Purchase card. Okay. Maybe I have a chance? Um, where's the cards? I'm gonna be upset. Why do we still have the photos? <laughs> a pamphlet given to you by a concerned resident of the boroughs. Uh, scratch card. Yes. It's a winner! I can redeem this at a big lotto machine for some cash. Wonder how much I won. Yes. It's okay. Yes. We're gonna just sit here and do all of our scratch cards. Cause I mean, at least we won something. Throwing out a lot of scratch cards. We only won one. Oh, we won two! Okay, we won two. Six dollars. No. Yes. Six dollars? Oh, I accidentally bought a card. You win anything? Yeah, yeah, it's bullshit. Hold on, let me just use this goddamn card. It's a winner. You got six bucks. Ooh. Thank you. Okay, where do I gotta go now? Oh, the arcade. I just... Sit here and look all around the town. Why not? We don't have anything else to do. Ooh. You checking my swag? I know you are. I'm not. These guys are pretty evenly matched. 
they could wind up playing forever at this rate. Hey, are you the guy? The fuck? Whoa! Hey, how's it going? Sorry, my mistake. What were you playing? Ah, it's no big deal. It's dumb anyway. Only reason I'm playing is because the daily top score holders get free passes to Swagfest. Problem is, this machine's already got a wicked high score and nobody's been able to talk. Whoever left it, shit, he's a legend. Swagfest? Dopest show in the world! God. If it's- if, if it's hype, it's there. Bling rings, many dem tings. Ha. Best part is, they got free shit, like everywhere. Everyone just throwing shit at you all day. Most of it's garbage, but hell, you gotta love that price, especially when you get those dorks, these dorks on the internet willing to actually pay for it. Hell, I just sold a really stupid pin for like $10 last week to that dude at the claw machine. He sucks at these games, so he buys the badges and sh shit to pretend like he can. But shit, 10 bones is, is nothing. I'm... I'm so rich I'll let you play one for free, unless you're scared, pretty lady. Step aside. What do I do? Don't hit the frogs. So I gotta drive and not hit frogs. Do I gotta run over the people? Oh, I gotcha! Run over people, don't hit the frogs. Pretty weird game, I'll admit. Nice, uh, twist. Now where's the humans? Justice serves. Score. I'm not happy with that. Oh, I can go again! Avoid the cats! What are the cats? There's the cats! It's hard. It's hard. They're really hard to avoid. Already beat your score, fucker. They're chasing me now. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Still more game to play, too. Don't kill the dogs. Don't kill dogs. I gotcha. Oh, God. That's gonna be hard, isn't it? I like the music to this though. This is pretty awesome music. I gotta say. They follow my they follow my motorcycle like an actual dog would. Nah, I didn't get this, but I still beat his score, so it don't matter. Like Vi that one kind of looks like Viper. Don't hit the frogs. So what do I do? Just keep going until like I'm out of lives or something? I guess I'll just enjoy this really playing a game within a game thing. Looks like it's starting to rate because the numbers look like they're messing up a bit. What do I do? Am I doing good? I imagine I am. Oh, you little bastard. You can't you can't outrun me. Am 
My bad. Still got a better score. To be honest, it looks like point. I get points when I blow up the cats. Well, one cat alive and... Not anymore. There we go. I was waiting for that. Oh, I have like a little life bar. I gotcha. Or like a completion bar or something. There we go. Okay. So I had to die. What are you gonna do about it? I get to go to swag fest. Look who doesn't. Holy shit! 585 points! That's an amazing score! Yo, Joe! This chick is legacy! Now I've got now I've got two to beat. Fuck! Sucks for you, chance. I don't give a shit. Come select your reward from this marvelous Bavaria prizes. Cool. Yo, wait up, dog. You gotta take that swag fest pass. I'll buy it off of you. Name your price. Hurry up, we're closing soon. Coming. That spider ring is pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. Chicks love that shit, yeah? Not spiders. Um. Swag fest. Good choice. The rest of the stuff is junk. <laughs> you don't say that to your customers. Yo, you get the swag pass? I gotta have it. How much will you give me for it? Shit, my wallet's empty. If you come back to my place, I can get you I can get you square with whatever you want. Sure, let's go. Bala bala till you holla. Ooh, this is zoomed in like a little cutscene. Ooh. I am intrigued. And now we're not. <laughs> right, so welcome to my humble abode. Make yourself at home, but I don't have the jacuzzi ready until later. There's a cooler in the back. I think it's got some beers if you want one. No wine coolers, so though. Make yourself at home and I'll g get back out in a minute. Okay, sure, why not? Never know what a tire and I am. Um, might be useful. Um, why not? I'm already terrible. I've already done bad shit. I might as well just keep going with it. Ooh, last beer. You found a light beer. Why is it in gasoline? What's taking that kid so long? Well, let's go out and find out. Here, hundred dollars. That's all I've got. A hundred bucks for this thing? Deal. Sure. So, why did you want that swag fest pass so badly? Because my life is shit! I want to do something with it. I've been stuck here for months living with my batshit crazy uncle. You know he's a drug dealer? My mom sent me out here after I got in a f fight back home in San Brando. She sent me here to scare me straight or something. It's all bullshit though. All I want is a chance at the big time. For me, that's swag fest. If I can get there, I can meet people. People who can make things happen. You know what I mean? Oh, it's- oh shit, he's got a gun! Shit, that's him. What, was that a gunshot? Quick, let's hide in the backyard. Are you kidding me?! Are we gonna die?! Hurry, dog, he's coming! There you are, you little fucker! This is it! I'm so fucked this time! I let you stay here. I fed you every night. No surprise your mom dropped you. And then you go and steal my money? You even took my last beer? Oh god! Any last words, Chance? Hey now, wait a minute! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I don't know! Oh god, I don't know! I 
Can I talk to him or? I don't know. I don't know. Quit the title. Yeah, no, hold on. Yeah, no, hold on, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go play that and see if I can, like, talk him down or something. And see if I can get chance to live. Because that's fucked up. Uh, I'll be right back. It shouldn't take too long. Actually, you guys are in with it. You might as well. I gotta be careful. Step aside. Okay. Let us get in, we'll beat it, then we'll die. It's not that hard to beat it. It's like, it takes two levels to beat it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we're good. We're good, we're fine. Uh, we're fine. There we go. Okay, next level. We'll do it and then we'll die. Come on, avoid the cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how the fuck did you not get hit? Douche. Yeah, I know, it's not gonna be my highest score, but you know what, I beat it, so that's all that I was supposed to do. I'm trying to save someone's life here, so I don't think my game score matters too much. Die, 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 die. There we go. You know our scores, 230. You're great, you're brilliant, you're wonderful. No, I'm not, because I let him die. Oh, yes, that was right. You're a disgusting human. Thank you. I don't know what I just did. I think I just had a conversation with myself. I like this game. Swag fest. Okay, now save in case I fuck up again. There better be a way to save him. It's probably not, huh? Uh, yeah, wallet's empty. Let's go. Okay, take this, because that'll probably be good for attacking. Why didn't I attack? I attacked after. I was gonna say. I 
I'm gonna not steal the beer this time either. No, oh, fuck. No, fuck. No, fuck! Maybe I'm supposed to steal the beer. I think I was supposed to steal the beer because then he wouldn't have done it. What if I say no thanks? Oh! I'm gonna try various different ways. I'm gonna say deal, and then I'm gonna try to talk him down. And then if that doesn't work, I won't take it. Hopefully it works. Yeah, I get ya. I can't move. I am trying to move. Okay. Let's not go and do anything crazy here. Let's put the gun down and we'll talk about this. Well, where is it, you little shit? The money from yesterday for that MDMA shit. It was on the coffee table and now it's gone. I told you, no more fucking stealing. Come on, Don, give a kid another chance. It doesn't have to end this way, Don. There are options here other than blowing a hole in your nephew. Yeah, but then he, yeah, but then he wouldn't be robbing me. Come on, relax a second. We all screw up now and again. He's had his chance. If my money's really gone, he's dead to me. Okay, Don, you win. Just take your money and let us go. Come on, Chance, let's get out of here. Yay! Holy shit, I owe you my life. I'm making my way back to San Verando. If you ever make it out that way, look me up. You're the only person who ever gave a shit. I won't forget that. Yay. You're welcome, Don. Uh, I gotta go head to San Rando. So where are you going, though? So are you ready to head to Beaton? I'm leaving to. I'm leaving as soon as I can. Not ready yet. Uh, there's nothing I need to do. I just need to make sure I I save. Just in case this is a bad idea. There we go. Let's go to Beaton. I'm done with this shithole of a town. On to Beaton, I say. Hop in, friend. Let's hit the road. Yay! Jack's car. It's so pretty. Hopefully Jack's not a murderer. Are we supposed to be doing something, or are we just watching? Just watching the cutscene, I'm guessing. Yep, yeah, okay. Ooh, what's going on here? Well, friend, this is as far as I can take you. Thank you again for everything. You made a real difference in my life. It was no trouble at all. Good luck, Jack. Thanks. Take care of yourself. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope I find a place to live. Why am I in here? What can I do for you, lady? Seven. It's a lot of money. Nothing. Thank you, though. What are you protesting? Meet the new boss. Say it again, folks. Let your voices echo through these streets. Down with the unions, down with greed. Honest work is all we need. That's right, let's put an end to the corruption that's devastated our hometown. It's time to make your voices heard, people. Sounds like some kind of protest or something. Why am I going towards it? We won't pay your unfair dues. We've caught wise to your ruse. Down the river, sell us out. Not so long as we can shout. Yes, and our message isn't done here, is it? We're not stopping until City Hall takes note. Mayor 
Bob Horde and his union pals may have promised us security, but what do we do when things turn rough? They partner up with a big business fat cast like Macro Shaft, sabotaging our local enterprises. Also, that they can enjoy the massive protest, protest off your backs while sucking the soul out of Beaton. Look out, Beaton, it's the Big Horde Boulder. Better watch out, he'll run you over. These were the businesses our great grandparents started, the places we got our first jobs. Now they're all at risk of becoming sterilized, corpor corporatized, homogenized hellholes. None of the union heads care about that, though. They only care about the bottom line. If they had it their way, the whole city would be run by Makroshoff and its subsidiaries. This protest is our only weapon, this strike our only ammunition. Beaton's workers, big and small, we're on a strike till Fat Horde falls. Can we move? No? No? I want to personally thank you for your efforts, Beatonets. You're the backbone of the city. Just remember to pledge your support to the upcoming election so we can get the resolution we deserve. In a few days' time, when you follow that old red brick trail to City Hall, remember who to vote for. Vote Tradu if you hate greed. Honest work will make you free. Thank you, Beaton. Now I have one final announcement before I go. The reason we're here in the bus station's parking lot is because they've joined our cause. Effective immediately, the drivers and workers of the bus service are joining our strike. As a ceremonial gesture, I'd like you all to wave goodbye as the last bus out of here departs. No. Bus. <laughs> Shit. All right, keep going strong. Your city needs you. Oh, fuck. Goddamn strike. Now how the hell am I supposed to get to San Verando? Maybe Larry will have something to say about it. I think he said his place was up near City Hall. Oh, so he's in Beaton. I guess I can follow this red trail and figure out my way from there. So he lives near City Hall. Baka Shushi, Pawn Exchange, the Krusty Kreme Coffee Shop, the Bacon Barn... Um, is that supposed to be City Hall? I don't know. I'll talk to everyone in a minute, and I'll get used to the place, and I'll go into all the buildings in a minute. We've got to go find Larry, and we have also got to go find a place to sleep for the night. Right, so this is City Hall. He lives by City Hall. Is this an apartment complex? Because if it is, he's probably in here. Looks like this is Larry's place. Head inside and see if he's home. Hey, Larry! Are you Larry? Yeah. So, are you going to greet me or just stare at that fish tank all day long? Sorry, I just got lost for a second. I'm really glad to see you. I was starting to think you might not make it. Well, I'm here now. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Things are fine. Nothing you need to worry about. If you say so. Look, why don't we order in some breakfast? You can decompress and tell me all about why you don't have that damn book yet. You like pancakes? Yeah! I could eat some pancakes. Alright, Pancake Appalooza. You're gonna love these. Best in town. Damn, those pancakes smell good. I told you so. I'm starting to think two orders might have been a bit too much, though. So, do you do this often? Do what? Order breakfast instead of just cooking? Seems like it might get a bit expens expensive. Well, between the overdrawn savings account and a couple maxed out credit cards, Belinda and I are, near are already nearing six figures in the ground. The way I see it, we're heading towards bankruptcy in a few months anyway. A few more pancakes on the ledger aren't going to be our undoing. That does not sound like a sound financial strategy. Oh, I know. Trust me. I know. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Since her mom died, Belinda spent nearly every day and every penny at the mall. At first, I didn't have the heart to tell her we couldn't afford- we can't afford the shopping sprees. But by the time I got the balls to say something, we were broke. You should have seen her face when I suggested she get a job to start paying off some of the bills. 
Larry, that's insane. Have you considered divorcing her? So I can lose half to her in the courts and another half to the lawyer's fees? No thanks. Plus, I couldn't do that to her. For better or for worse, right? Shit, I'm sorry. Don't be. It's my fault, really. When I got that job last year, I thought everything was going to be easier. <sighs> Did you know two of the other guys in the department made over a million bucks each just in royalties? It's pretty easy to fool yourself when you're around successful people on a day-to-day -day basis. I got it in my head that I'd already made it and sold her on the idea we weren't just middle-class nobodies anymore. It takes a, long, a lot longer to climb that ladder, though. It's gonna be fine, though, right? I've got a few new prospects, and you're here. That's something, I guess. Yeah, you mentioned a job for me here. Well, it's not exactly what you're used to. What job is it? Later that day. It's about afternoon time. Hello! Shit, Larry, are you trying to get fired? Here I am, crawling to my parents on my hands and knees for a little extra cash to keep us afloat, and you're lounging around eating pancakes? Is that who, Is that who I think it is? You've got a lot of nerve coming around here after the shit you pulled. Hey, calm down, would you? She's here to make good on things, right? Uh, yeah. We're trying to steer the ship back on course, get life moving in the right direction again. Well, that's fine and dandy, but weren't you supposed to be having a meeting this morning? Shit, I forgot. I can see that. So what the hell is she doing here anyway? We were, uh... Discussing work, catching up, having breakfast. Discussing work. We were just discussing some work. Are you kidding me? How many chances are you going to give this fuck up? You know what? Whatever. I give up. Great to see you again. Really damn good to see you. Sarcasm. Better get your ass to work before they finally fire you for real this time, Larry. Actually, you're right. I should get going. Dominique, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'll tell you all about the job then, alright? You can stay here, sleep on the couch. Thank you. You've got to be kidding me. Larry, I was going to go shopping in a bit. You can't just leave strangers in my home. Except I'm not a stranger. I've been here, and you shouldn't be shopping. Take her with you. I don't care. You two can discuss handbags or whatever. Either way, she stays. I pay the rent, so it's my call. Thank you, Larry. Besides, you two probably get along wonderfully. You both make my life a living. <laughs> I don't want to tag along with you. You're a bitch. I want to tag along with him. He's funnier. Even when he's insulting me, he's better. Better than leaving you here to steal shit. Perfect. Like one big happy family. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, that's nice. I'm sorry you had to see all that. Look, I've got nothing against you. Larry and I are just in the middle of a thing. Apparently. Look, I said I was sorry. Let's just forget about it and go to the mall. There's a two for one special at the salon. You look like you could use some pampering. You sure that's a good idea? Well, you're either coming with me or you're out for the day because I'm not abandoning my home with a st stranger in it, Larry's friend or not. Come on, it'll be fun. Who knows? Maybe we'll become best friends. You know what? <sighs> Let's go. Might as well, right? That's what I wanted to hear. The rental car's downstairs. Might as well. Ooh, I like that girl's hair! Hello, can I get some service, please? Hello? Not your hair. Other person's hair. Sorry for the wait, miss. How can I help you? That's a little better. You're in the service industry, for God's sake. Show a little dignity in your work, why don't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. What can I do for you two? We're here for the special. I'm sorry, ma'am. What special? Don't play dumb with me. The one you advertise, hair care two for one. I want to treat my friend here to a relaxing scalp massage while I got my hair cut. Substitutions are acceptable, right? I'm sorry, ma'am, I don't know what you're talking about. We aren't running any promotions right now. Do you have the flyer with you? No, I didn't bring the flyer with me. Can I speak to your manager? Where's Rudolph? Oh. 
He's on lunch right now. Well, then he's getting a mouthful about your poor treatment of his customers when he returns. I suppose if you want, we can get your treatment started now, and you can talk to him when he gets back from his break. You came to relax. There's no sense in getting all wild over or over a simple misunderstanding. Please, come back here and we can get to work. A haircut for yourself and a scalp massage for your friend over here? That's more like the service I was expecting. Come on, you're gonna love this. Anywhere you like, ma'am. You take a seat next to your friend. Uh, sorry for that. She's a bit much sometimes. Oh, no worries. She's not even the worst we've had today. I like your hair. So, scalp massage? You're gonna love it. Super relaxing. Now, if only I could figure out what to do with my hair, we'd be perfect. A haircut, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Something different. I've been feeling so down lately. I need something to shake things up. You know what I mean? Change out of the clothes. What do you think? Well, why not? Why not change colors? Now we're thinking outside the box. I knew I brought you for a reason. Yay. What color do you think would look best? Ooh. Something gray. <laughs> I've never used gray in my life and I'm never going to do it again. But like blue. You know, I've always wanted to try purple. That too. That was certainly living things up, wouldn't it? Um, sounds great. Ladies, we're ready for you. I hope I'm not going to make Larry upset. So, what you want us to do? You want, like, a trim or what? Put those scissors away, we're going to color it. I think we're going to do purple. An excellent electric purple that's really shocking. You sure about that, ma'am? That's a pretty big change for you. Yes, of course I'm sure. What kind of idiot do you think I am? You better do a damn good job if you want a tip. And don't question my decisions again, alright? Of course, ma'am. We always do our best for you. I'm just going to swivel your chair around and get started on you right away. And what about you, ma'am? Which of these oils did you want me to use for your scalp massage? We've got lavender, peppermint, or rosemary. I can also give it to you with just water. Peppermint! Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just going to spin your chair around and get you started. Please try and relax. So what do you think? Isn't it the best? I could just stay here all day long. How does it feel? I'm in heaven. Not too bad. Kind of weird. Hurts a little. Uh, I'm going to say more what she wants to hear. But in real life, I'd hate this type of thing. Because I'm not, I'm not one for people to, like, touch my hair at all or touch me at all you know so I'm not one for people s sitting here messing with my hair or anything so in real life I wouldn't like it but to make her feel better I'm in heaven don't stop see I told you she was good I like her anyway see any good movies how about the weather you live here long relax let's try to become friends with her so, uh, have you seen any good movies lately? Hear any good music? You know, this is really nice. Thanks for bringing me, Linda. Yeah, whatever. Excuse me for being polite. Look, if you wanted to have a conversation with me, you didn't have to come up with such bullshit small talk to make it happen. You don't need to come up with some contrived talking point just because you think we need to say something to one another. Well, no need to bite my head off. I'm sorry. Next time I won't say anything at all, I guess. No, it's not that. You don't get it, do you? I just don't appreciate being fed useless chit-chat when I know for a fact you don't talk to Larry with the same mindlessness. Is it too much to ask for a decent conversation? Do you really dislike me that much? Well, to be honest, you're a bitch. Um, I don't know you. I'm kind of awkward. 
I never really know what to say in these sorts of situations, so I babble, I guess. Nobody ever called me out on it before, though. It's just easier to fill awkward silences with random words sometimes, you know? Ugh, can you be any more pathetic? Honestly, if you can't find something worthwhile to say, you should keep your mouth shut. Shh. You two talk too much. Just close your eyes and relax. <laughs> Fall asleep. Okay, I thought that was our hair for a minute. Oh, you're back with us. You fell asleep for a minute there. Must have enjoyed it. Oh, my head feels amazing. And everything still smells like peppermint. So, what do you think? Is it gonna look alright? There's only one way to find out. Is that Rudolfo? Rudolfo, darling, come here. We're about to unveil my new hairdo. Ah, my favorite customer, coming. She's your favorite customer? Well, the suspense is killing me. Let's see how it looks. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, good. I was worried it was gonna, like, be fucked up or something. Well, what do you think? Oh, God. I can't even look at it. Oh, God, it looks terrible. This is all your fault. Why the hell did I listen to you? I think it looks good! I like that purple! I really do! I should have known better than to take your style advice from a goddamn dyke. A million and a half useless things to say to me, but not one word of advice on this awful haircut. Oh, this is so embarrassing. This purple makes me look like a raver. You were the one who thought of purple, and it's not that bad, really. Shut up. This is all your goddamn fault. Rudolfo, you've got to fire that bitch. First she wouldn't give me the promotion you were advertising, now she's completely ruined my hair. What is my number one rule? The customer is always right. Always. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hunter. Yeah, but that's the thing. Most of the time, the customer is not right, and they are just bitchy. Just to let you know, there are instances where they are right. There are. But most of the time, they're just bitching. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hunter. We'll do what we can for you, but we will still have to charge you for the services you received. The fix-up will be no extra charge, of course. That's not even my name, you idiot. I've been coming here for years, and you're still calling me by my husband's name. I kept my own name, my mother's name. What the hell is wrong with you people? This is no way to treat a loyal customer. Oh, come on, darling. Don't cry. It's only hair. It goes back. I like it. Don't talk to me right now. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know what to say. That's the name on her credit card, so I just sort of assumed it was hers. In fact, I could get in a lot of trouble now that I know that it's her husband's card. She's going to have to find another method to pay. I'm not going to jail for the fraud over this. She's been under a lot of stress lately. Marriage problems, money problems, family problems. Make things right. Do I make things right, or do I say that she has to make things right? Make things right. If you have any pride for your business at all, I expect that you're going to make things right. I understand, but what do you want me to do? Don't bill her, let the card slide. I'll pay for everything. I guess you can let me pay for everything. Well, that certainly simplifies things. It's good to see friends taking care of each other. Go tell your friend she can have a seat and we'll be right with her in a moment once you've paid. Hey, relax for a second, all right? What, you gonna try to convince me this wasn't a horrible mistake? Tell me it doesn't look that bad? Well, first off, it's not that bad. You're completely overreacting. Secondly, I'm going to pay for it. Wait, what? You're a credit card. Rodolfo says you can't use it, so I'm going to take the bill on this one. Once he's paid, he's going to fix it up for you. Then we can go home, alright? You're going to pay for me? Aren't you broke? 
<laughs> Look who's talking. I'm just, just going over to the tilt pay. I'm just, you can just pop in that chair and he's going to fix it as best he can. Then we can get out of here, okay? Deal. Thank you. This really means a lot. Larry would kill me if he found out I was still using his credit card, so I really do appreciate it. Don't mention it. Now let's get your hair back to normal and get out of here. Alright, she's ready for you. Here's your money. Do a good job, alright? Only the best for my favorite customer. Right. <laughs> hey, thanks again for helping me. I didn't mean to lose my cool or anything. It just sort of happened and I'm sorry you saw it. I guess you can only keep bandaging your problems. Problems. Scout massage and new clothes for so long before it all comes back to you and you crack. At least Larry didn't have to find out about it. Honestly, I'd never hear the end of it. We can keep this between us, right? My lips are sealed. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'm going to go take a walk and see if anyone notices my hair. Hopefully, Rodolfo did a good job. It's nighttime, and now we can crash on the couch and write the journal. Can we go out onto the... This is the patio. This is where we met Nina! <laughs> Nina! Meow. Meow. <laughs> yeah, let's sleep. Should I write this down? Might as well. Good. What's happening? God, I can't take anymore. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> you okay over there, Dominique? No, I really don't think so. If I have to write one more goddamn word, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my mind and shove this pencil right through your face. Sam, why the hell did I let you convince me this was a good idea? Hush. You'll be thanking me when we're rich. Look, if it's getting to you, let's take a break. Yes, please. We got any beers left? Guess not. You got any cash for some? What do you think? This sucks. What are we wasting our time here for? All these essays aren't going to mean shit once we graduate. Honestly, we'd probably be better off dropping out now and getting back on track with the project. Oh, don't be such a baby. What's Professor McAllister always telling us? You gotta pay. You gotta pay your dues in this life. There is no road to easy street, no matter what we think. Sooner or later, you gotta deliver the effort owed. Necessary effort or not, I'm still taking a break. You want to hit the student lounge with me? I need to borrow your meal card. Actually, I was thinking of spending some time up in the observatory for a change. I can meet you afterwards, though, if you want. Maybe see if the nachos aren't too stale today. Since when the hell did you give a crap about stargazing or whatever they do up there? You gonna go looking for little green men? Eh, not exactly. More like a heavenly body if you catch my drift. Wait, are you talking about a girl? Why didn't you say something earlier? I didn't think it was a big deal. We haven't even spoken yet. At this point, I'd say it's more like I'm stalking her and she hasn't noticed, to be honest. Besides, I probably haven't even got to have a shot. Smart, good looking, really charismatic. She's just about as perfect as they come. Way out of my league. Well, what's your battle plan then? Battle plan? Yeah, you can't just march up there without a plan or you're gonna blow it. You only get one chance to make a solid first impression, and you've got to make it a good one. Who knows? You two could be soulmates and not even realize it. You don't want to mess that up. Shit, when well, you put it that way, you got to help me. I'm horrible with this stuff. I don't even know if she's into girls. you got to help me. What do you want me to do about it? I don't know. Recon or something. Go find out what she's into and stuff. We'll strike up a conversation and then come back here with a report on everything. Like you said, I only get one chance at this and I really do want to make a good impression. Knowing a little more couldn't hurt, right? I don't know, you're kind of overanalyzing things now. Please? Pretty please? You'll be my best friend forever and ever. You want me to go spy a crush for you? Alright, I'll go. Settle down. Oh, Dominique, thank you, thank you. Upstairs in the observatory, yeah? Yeah, I think she's helping Professor Radford set some stuff up before her... 
her next class. So what's in it for me? I was really looking forward to nachos. Do this for me and I'll buy you so many nachos you die a horrible jalapeno death. Now we're talking! <laughs> Here, take my meal card and you can pick them up on your way back or whatever. Alright, and what are you gonna do? What am I gonna do while you're on an assignment? Probably take a nap. Figures. Alright, I'm out of here. You're the best. What's her name, by the way? So I know who to look for? Oh, right. How stupid of me. Her name's Nina. I'm gonna kill you! No! No! Nina is mine. Trust me, you'll know when you see her. Alright, got it. Enjoy the nap. No! I don't want to. What's going on here? You staring at me? Hello. Take a picture. It lasts longer. You're kind of pretty. Maybe I just wasn't cut out for school. Hey, you. Come here. You gotta see this. You kind of look like you have info chance glasses. It should be passed in by these coordinates in just a minute or two. I don't know who. You... Think there's something wrong with your picture or something? Just showing static. You unplugged my connection to the telescope. Oh shit! What do I do? Plug it back in. Hurry! We're gonna miss it. There, how's that? Is it working again? Come on! Do, don't do this to me now! What's going on? The whole system's resetting. Oh, we're gonna miss it! What can I do? I've gotta recalibrate the capture software. You go to the terminal over there and I'll give you the instructions on how to enter the subcoordinates. Okay, so what do I do now? Alright, it's looking for this coordinates again. I'm going to call out some numbers. You punch them in as needed. Got it. Do I actually have to punch them in? Alright. First one, 75. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. It didn't let me. Oh, I gotta actually... Fine. Got it. 94. Next one. 65. 12. Okay. Almost done. Oh, there's more. No, crap. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 70. Pay more attention. Input it. Uh, 74. All done. Ooh. So is it working now? Damn, I think we missed it. I'm sorry. There's a comet passing by Earth tonight that only swings by every thousand years or so. A comet? Yeah, big chunk of space rock hurtling through the universe without a single care? I was hoping to get one of the first photos of it for the news, but I guess that's not going to happen. It's a shame, too. That really would have helped justify the expense of this old piece of junk. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we recalibrate it and try again? Ah, uh, there's no point. I'm sure every dimwit with a telescope's got some sort of picture of it by now. Shit, is there anything I can do to make it up? Nah, don't sweat it. If there's one thing I've learned studying the Big Bad Universe all these years, is that you simply can't control all the variables. No matter how much you prepare or how certain you are of the way things are going to turn out, the inherent chaos of the cosmos will ensue. Even in isolation, we can't escape the randomness of the universe. Something always goes wrong. I'm Professor Radford, by the way, and you are not one of my students, if my memory serves. What brings you all the way up here? We're not enrolling new students this late in the semester. But you handled the machine well enough, so I think I could bend the rules. Oh, hi. And, uh, no. I'm a literature program already. Uh, one of Miss McAllister's students. McAllister's. 
How you kids stand them, I'll never know. I'm actually here looking for someone. Well, my friend's looking for someone. Some girl, she was supposed to be in here helping you set up for a class or something? Oh, you must be looking for Nina. I sent her downstairs to hand out some flyers. I'm trying to get the students more interested in our classes. Tuition's falling through the floor. You sure you don't want to register? Thanks, but my course load's already stacked. Hey, whatever you say. Just remember this is a lot more to learn. But I suppose to each their own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to send a rather disappointing message to the Daily News Times. I'm sorry. Is it because I messed up, or would that have happened either way? Hi! Hey there, got a second? Uh, yeah, I guess. Hey, here, take one of these. There's a comment passing by Earth tonight. It's going to be quite the sight. So I've heard. Wow! I didn't think anyone else at the department cared about this stuff. My name's Nina. Nice to meet you. Nina? Yeah, and you are? Oh, sorry. I'm Dominique. Nice to meet you, too. So, what brings you all the way up here? I don't recognize you from Radford's classes. Oh, uh... Can I fuck this up completely? I was looking for you, actually. You're not another stalker, are you? What? No. I've had this girl following me around campus for at least a week, and it's giving me the creeps. Oh, uh... Why are people firing off fireworks? It's still sun to light out! By the way, it's 4th of July. Anyway, that's my friend, Sam. She's not stalking you, per se. She's got a bit of a crush on you. Well, can you tell her to stop? It's been freaking me out. Shit, I thought she was speaking metaphorically. Yeah, I'll let her know. Sam's just a little too shy to initiate conversation. I was actually supposed to come up here and talk to you for her. See if she had a chance, you know? Oh, well, I'll save you the effort of asking. She's really not my type. Let me guess. You're straight? Uh, no. Let's just say... You're a little closer to my type, if you know what I mean. Ooh. Are you hitting on me? Yeah! Well, if you're interested in joining me tonight out by the bl bluffs, I wouldn't say no. What do you say? Would you be interested in accompanying me for an evening of lifetime? Le they say this is a once-in-a-lifetime sight. Sure, why not? I can always finish my essay some other time. Fantastic! Here, take my number. Sam's gonna be pissed and I don't care. I should be heading over to the bluffs before nightfall to set everything up. It's not my fault. I told her. I was, I was honest with Nina. I did not do that. Nina said Sam wasn't her type. I didn't do that. She hit it on me. Shit, I gotta get back up to class. I'll see you around, yeah? Yes. It was really nice meeting you, by the way. You too. It's not gonna be nice to divorce! Or break up, or whatever we did. Now, what do I tell Sam? The truth. That's the only way to do things right. For the most part. Okay. Why do I always have to dream of her? Such a vivid dream, too. It's not fair. I don't even know if she's happy. Come to think of it, I never even called when I got the invite. Hell, I still remember her number, after all. Maybe I should give her a call before I go any further. It's not too late to turn back. Rise and shine! Oh, you're already up. Actually, I was thinking of going back to bed. Not a chance. We've, you've got a big day ahead of you. Come on out to the patio. I want you to see something. Really? Do we have to do this now, Larry? Yes, absolutely. Can I make a call first? Who the hell are you going to call at this hour? Come on, it. Can we f for when we get out of the office? Fine, I'm coming. Alright, I'm out here. What did you want to show me? You've got a real shitty attitude, you know that? Well, you dragged me out of bed at the crack of dawn. What do you expect? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you having a nice dream? Here, let me get you some coffee. Maybe some caffeine will make you tolerable. 
thanks. I know he's being passive aggressive, but it's like amazing. <laughs> it's working already. All right, all right. What'd you bring me out here for? I still don't know what we're doing today. Right now, we're watching the sunrise. Are you kidding me? You woke me up for a sunrise? Unless it was really pretty, I'd smack that bitch. Yeah, and? I could be sleeping, that's what. Tell me, when was the last time you saw the sun come up? When was the last time it was not almost noon before you got out of bed? Uh... I can't even remember in real life. Oh, well, that's not changing now. I don't know, probably when I was in school. Sam and I used to go wrapped up in our work and we'd pull all night without even realizing it. Oh! Yeah, then I've done that. I've pulled all-nighters. Like, accidentally. Stay up until four and then get a Skype message. Why are you still up? <laughs> this was this- there was this one time we set our alarms really early for an exam. They wound up going off before we even went to bed. We were completely exhausted through the test. Totally bombed. Didn't matter though, because we were together. I know what you're expecting at- get, ex getting at, by the way. But you can save your hypocrisy, thank you very much. I come out here every single morning, so thank yourself very much. This view is about the only thing I actually care about in this apartment. Excuse me for wanting to share it with someone. Oh. You've got a wife, you know. Ever think she might appreciate an invitation? Belinda doesn't appreciate much more. Much anymore. She's too well fed, you know what I mean? This easy life, it spoiled her. I don't know. I think she's hurting more than she lets on. When we were at the salon, it was a total meltdown. I hate to say it, but I kind of feel bad for her a little. It's my fault, I guess. I sold her this life so she'd love me. I, it ruined everything. The sad part is, I'd do it all again if I could. Just to have her a little longer. You can't chase that good feeling forever, though. Everything burns down eventually. You really love her, huh? Of course I do. That's why I can't let go. No matter how low that choice makes me sink. Yeah. I think I understand. It's pretty. So this is where all the magic happens, huh? I always expected the publishing office to be a little more glamorous, you know? Well, this is a t technically just our warehouse. The actual office is closer to downtown. What are we doing here, then? This is the job I was talking about. We've got a real situation on our hands with a strike right now and need the help. These orders aren't going to fill themselves, and we can't afford to stagnate. Orders? You mean I'm shipping books out to stores or something? Not exactly. The company's selling unused slip covers and spines to a pulping plant overseas in China. It's a decent way to recoup some of the losses and we got a big environmental tax credit. Heh, <laughs> paper doesn't grow on trees, you know? When you said you'd have to work for me, when you'd have work for me, I figured it'd be in my, in my wheelhouse, you know? Putting letters into words, words into sentences, so on and so forth. Come on. You had your chance already. How many times do you expect me to stick my neck out for you? Wait, you said unused slipcovers. You're kidding me, right? You're literally having me pulp my own failures. What the fuck, Larry? Well, the boxes are sealed. I'll leave the mystery up to you. You're not our only failure on our books, you know? Right, because being the worst of the worst would still mean I'm the best at something. Hey, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll give you a minute to change and meet you downstairs. There's a uniform in the lockers over there. The foreman's kind of particular about it, so do me the favor of playing along. Yeah, whatever. Hey, maybe think of it as a new start. We're still a team, you know? Sure feels like it. Don't give me that. You're mad at yourself, not at me. We're still a team, right? Yeah, I guess. Alright, cool. Take a minute to collect yourself. I'll see you in five. You're still t Phones by the coffee maker if you still need it. Okay. I was waiting forever for a chance for it to, like, stop so I could save and end the episode. 
This thing's like 15 minutes longer than it should be because I was waiting for a stopping point. I probably should have ended at night, but... I was going to, but then it went into the dream sequence. So, anyway... Oh, this is getting so good. We gotta get ourselves some food soon. We're running low on stamina. I'm not sure what happens if, like, we lose all our stamina, but I'm sure we die or we had to go to sleep and sleep through the day or something bullshit really happens or we get slow. Something happens. I'm guessing. I assume. Or else I wouldn't be there. So, anyway, I'm really enjoying this game and I can't wait to get into it more. I hope we can win Nina back. I really do. She's cute. Anyway... <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. There'll be a link in the description below for you guys to check out my Patreon. It helps support my channel and my artwork, and my artwork also supports this channel. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye!